now we'll do the titration. Use your glass pipette and put the pipette bump like that. After that, transfer a part of your solution, sodium carbonate solution, to a clean picture. Have a, a conical flask ready. After that, insert the pipette inside the solution and using the ruler here, move it up so you can see the solution is going up till it reaches the mark. When it is exactly at the mark, transfer your solution to the conical flask. And now you can add more water to your solution because it will be diluted but the number of moles stays the same. After that we add an indicator which in this case will be at the beginning phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein turn its color or change the color to be from colorless in acidic and neutral solution to be pink in basic solution like that and add more water and after that we'll perform the titration in order to do the titration you put your conical flask with the solution underneath the pipette like that be sure you start from zero or whatever reading record that reading and after that open the tab for the burette and allow the acidic solution to go very slowly while you are steering like that till the end point the end point is the equivalence point where the number of moles of the acid exactly the same like number of moles for the base be sure about not to add a lot of the solution because with sodium carbonate have two equivalence point the first one when all the sodium carbonate uh, turn to sodium bicarbonate and that one we can determine by the phenolphthalein. The color of the phenolphthalein start to be lighter and lighter now when we add just one drop of the acid the color start to be lighter and lighter then it completely disappears to be clear solution Now we can record the reading for that one and after that you add sal orange. Sal orange is another indicator that we have two different colors for acidic and basic solution. Its color now is it's yellow. When we add more of the HCl to that one, its color change. kind of red or orange or as you used to say it's wine red you can see now the color changed a little bit be careful when you add now the color of the solution turns to be wine red and this is exactly is the end point this is the volume equivalent to the number of moles of sodium carbonate we used here. Here we titrate 10 ml of sodium carbonate. Now we have certain volume of the HCl of known concentration. Now you can use the formula molarity time volume for sodium carbonate equal molarity time volume for HCl. But be careful with the psychometry because for each one mole of sodium carbonate, you need two moles of uh, HCl, hydrochloric acid. Now you can determine, you have to repeat the experiment. Three times at least, take the uh, average and do the error analysis by determining the uh, concentration or the molarity of the sodium carbonate. After that, you take the average for the three readings and do uh, or calculate the percentage. Thank you so much and see you in the next experiment.